Wow, Allen Twins activate the double A battery. I'm so glad to be yes, here sir. with Rusty Allen on the Rusty Allen YouTube show. Yes, sir. Episode five is so beautiful. I, I think you'd agree. Rusty, um, okay, first thing I want to know is I know you've been doing a lot of cool interviews, actually. Um, I want to interview you about that. Um, tell me about, look, I heard Questlove is doing a, a doc on Sly, yeah. and you've already done like a talking head for that, or yeah. what's going on with that? Tell me all about it. It was it was great, Ace. First of all, man, it's a pleasure being here with you, man. You're my boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. good to have you here. And by the way, yeah. like and subscribe, you guys, you know what I mean? Yes. Smash that love button. Do that, do that. Anyway, uh, yeah, um, got a call from uh, some of his production team out of New York. Um, Next thing I knew, man, I'm being whisked away in a limo to Sacramento Ooh, nice. to a uh, sound stage and uh, met Mr. Questlove and uh, we engaged. What's in he some... like, by the way? Man, he's so chill and nice, man. I mean, it's like. Is that your first time meeting yes, him? Yes, sir. Or? Yes, it is, man. I, I was just like, man, this guy is like an angel, man. He was just so cool and so chill, man. It was a pleasure working with him. Made, made me relax and you need anything? I got lunch for you, whatever, whatever, man. It was great, man. Great experience. Oh wow! So he was really—he's really, really hands-on with it. It's not like his name is attached. He's like—he's doing it. He's making this. Well, he's hands-on. You know, some of his staff. You know, they uh, initially started the uh, the questioning and you know the interview, and then halfway through it, he stepped in and kind of took over and had some pertinent points he wanted to make, and you know some you know some facts he needed to like get straightened out, and and it was just a pleasure to do that with him. Do you remember, or could you preview like? some of the stuff you guys rapped about or like kind of like what, what how was the feeling of the project or i don't know like what's your uh, impression of like what it's going to be like when it comes out or can you tell like what kind of angle is he taking or like what kind of questions are being asked like what's the tone of this project i think the tone of the project is to to um um continue his uh initial documentary and go a little bit more in depth from the stage to the people themselves that were involved and uh, to get some really, you know, hardcore facts and, um, and you know, bring those facts to, to the light, man. And uh, I just think it's a continuation of his original doc. Did he ask you any tough stuff? Did he ask you about the music? Like no, he asked me about, you know, some of the particular cuts that I played on and, um, you know how i felt about it and you know the recording process things nice like good that. good i'm yeah. glad to hear that and then they had me play bass on a, uh in time or something they had me sit up oh. there playing live man. oh okay yeah. i didn't realize it oh nice so it's yeah. gonna be like one of those type yeah. of docs yeah. where you're gonna be like recreating yeah man i'm you standing did in there time? by myself and i'm playing in time yeah <laughs> it nice was, it was fun man it who was... were did were they playing the track and you're playing the track or yeah did they... yeah i was playing the track i was playing live and they were no i'm sorry let me take that back i was pantomiming but I was still like, you know, like you know, explaining how it's going and yeah. like talking about it. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that's okay, great, great. So that's how he's that's how he's doing it. I love that. Yeah. Um, okay, beautiful, man. Uh, do you know when that's coming out or how long that process is gonna be? Or? I'm not sure, Ace Man. Um Is your part like in the can? Like you did your part? I'm or? done. Yeah, I was done uh, that same day. And do you know who else has been talking or like? I think they talked to Fun. I'm I'm sure they talked to Freddie. Um Nice, really? You know, yeah. Okay. Uh, Jerry, yeah. So, you know, some of the major family, you know, players, the Stones. Did they go to New York to do it or No, they came out here. Okay. okay yeah, they came man. to California and um because they probably wanted to show the whole environment. They're probably filming that, I imagine now. Now I'm thinking about it like, you know. Possibly, possibly. Because the Bay Area, because um, Chocolate was representing on that. I remember when I interviewed her uh, last year, just talking about like the Bay the Bay Area's got something special. So I'm yeah. glad that's going to be represented in a documentary. Uh, Questlove has got a lot of eyes on him because, you know, he's Academy Award winning, uh, you know, producer yeah, of these yeah. documentaries. That I am so, congratulations to you, man. Yeah, I'm man. so proud of you for just being in that. Man. And, um, it was such a blessing, man, to, you know, be part of that whole vanguard of... Uh, Sly's 80th fun, birthday uh, this year, yeah, man. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so, man, yeah, it was a blessing to be part of that, man. It was like... You don't, you know, you don't dream about those. I mean, you may dream about it, but yeah, that's all yeah. it is, is a dream. But wow, well, there I was. So, 
That's a real feather in your cap, man. I'm proud of you, man. And you've been doing actually a lot of good um, marketing lately. You've been out there doing some cool interviews. Tell me about like you were talking uh, with No Trouble. No Trouble is a is a great bunch of people. Uh, you did an interview with uh, Kevin Johnson. Right, right. Uh, tell uh, me about that. Well, uh, Scott Harold, who's been taking the bull by the horns and like just hooking me up with school gobs and stuff, man. Yeah, shout out to Scott, man. Uh, yeah, he hooked me up with No Trouble. Uh, we did a uh, Zoom interview. Um, just got my T-shirt too, uh, Kevin. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> nice. it's like you know the No Trouble T-shirt. Man, I sported I sported it at the jam session last night, man. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, this bass player, he looked at. He says, "Man, there's a string missing because of the four string." <laughs> but yeah, I loved it, you know. And uh, yeah, him and um, um, a WX. In a radio out of Nashville, I did an interview there. And okay. I, and um, Nashville. Yeah, a lot, a lot of good stuff. And here with you now, you know, and for the YouTube channel. And man, it's just, you know, Scott, man, he's like a, a workhorse, man. He just keeps it coming. There's he's, another cool uh, one, uh, 40 Minutes of Funk, yeah, right? Yeah. You did that too? Yeah, 40 Minutes of Funk, man. Man, you know, I'm kind of bad with names, but that was another great interview. Um, oh, uh, Michael Bendure. Michael, Michael yeah, Bendure, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, Michael, yeah. <laughs> right but, on, yeah, That man. was a great interview, too. So, yeah, Scott's looking me up, and, man, it's like, be careful what you ask for. You might get it. <laughs> <laughs> you know? and, and that's great, man, and you're making a splash. Um, well, let me ask you about something else, since we're doing, like, kind of the Digital Love fan club. Um, okay. Let me talk about your single, um, Gonna Take More, right. with uh, D.D. Simon, right, right? Right, right, Well, let's talk about that, because I never really got to ask you. I don't really know much about it. Like, how did that song come together? You know, the recording of it, the, you know, right. the creation of the track. Tell me right. all about it. Yeah, well, me and Levi Caesar. Um, Levi, hey, Levi what's up, shout man? out. Yes, sir. Well, we got together, and we just started, you know, laying some tracks down, some drum beats, and, you know, we started sampling some drum kits and everything, and we just came up with this groove, right? And, Levi, man, he's he knows how to like interject stuff, man, mm -hmm. and you know, put in bridges and little sequenced little hits real quick, right? So he was like, "Man, we don't we need to call Dee Dee Simon and have her sing." And I was like, "Would she do it?" He says, "Yeah, I think she'll do it for a wow. price." <laughs> do it. Man, that girl came in there and knocked it out, man. I mean, her interpretation, yeah. her delivery, her. You know, just her whole thing, man, was just like so on point, and we was like, "Yeah, that's some good work today." I that loved it. It's something today. like uh, here on Cameo in the '90s or something like that sound. You know yeah. what I mean? That vocal sound. I love that. Yeah, so it's bumping pretty hard in Nashville, and uh, uh, Scott, okay, it is yeah, in Nashville. Okay, from the late from the interview that yeah, I did, yeah, she said that okay. they are really digging it, and Scott's getting it played. You know, in some stations and some college stations, and you know, just trying to make it visible and make it you know listenable for the public that's wonderful yeah. man oh my god you're having quite a year thank you for watching rusty allen's virtual fan club stay tuned for more episodes and hit that like button subscribe now